Module 2, Networks and Decision Mathematics. Question 1. Bus routes connect six towns. The towns are North End, Opera, Palmer, Quigley, Rosebush and Seatown. The graph below gives the cost in dollars of bus travel along these routes. Bai lives in North End and he will travel by bus to take a holiday in Seatown. Part A. Bai considers traveling by bus along the route North End, Opera, Seatown. How much would Bai have to pay? So he starts at North End, follows the route towards Opera, and then follows the route towards Seatown. The first leg of the trip costs $15. The second leg of the trip costs $105. If we add these two up, the cost of this trip is $120. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. Part B. If Bai takes the cheapest route from North End to Sea Town, which other towns will he pass through? By inspection, we notice that the shortest route is North End, Quigley, Rosebush and Seatown. The total cost is $80. So the other towns that he will pass through are Quigley and Rosebush. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. Part C. Euler's formula V plus F equals E plus 2 holds for this graph. Complete the formula by writing the appropriate numbers in the boxes provided below. Let's start with the number of vertices V. There are six towns, so there are six vertices. So we write 6 in this box. Number of edges. These are the roots. So if we look at the graph, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 edges. So we write 11 in the box above E. Now let's look at the faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the outside, seven. So we write seven in the box above F. This question is worth one mark for the three correct answers. Question two. Bai joins his friends Agatha, Colin and Diane when he arrives for the holiday in Seatown. Each person will plan one tour that the group will take. Table 1 shows the time in minutes it would take each person to plan each of the four tours. The aim is to minimize the total time it takes to plan the four tours. Agatha applies the Hungarian algorithm to Table 1 to produce Table 2. Table 2 shows the final result of all her steps of the Hungarian algorithm. Part A. In Table 2, there is a zero in the column for Colin. When all values in the table are considered, what conclusion about minimum total planning time can be made from this zero? The conclusion is that Colin must plan toward 2. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. From the 2017 VC examination report, many gave additional information, usually from values in Table 1. However, Table 1 did not need to be considered at all. An answer such as Colin will plan two or two and take eight minutes to do it was acceptable as the extra information was correct and did not negate the first part. However, an answer such as Colin will plan to a two because he is the fastest was not correct as Diane could plan to a two more quickly than Colin. 
The algorithm gives the best overall allocation, taking all values into account. Part B. Determine the minimum total planning time in minutes for all four tours. So we know that Colin must plan tour two. He is going to do this in eight minutes. Now we can cross out Diane for tour two and she is going to plan tour three. She is going to do this in 18 minutes. Because of this, we can cross out Agatha for tour three. So Agatha is going to plan tour four. She is going to do this in 10 minutes. Now we can cross out by for tour four and he is going to plan tour one. He is going to do this in seven minutes. So the minimum total planning time is equal to 8 plus 18 plus 10 plus 7, which is 43. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. Question 3. While on holiday, the four friends visit a theme park where there are nine rides. On the graph below, the positions of the rides are indicated by the vertices. The numbers on the edges represent the distances in meters between rides. Part A. Electrical cables are required to power the rides. These cables will form a connected graph. The shortest total length of cable will be used. Part I. Give a mathematical term to describe a graph that represents these cables. The term is minimum spanning tree. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. Part 2i. Draw in the graph that represents these cables on the diagram below. Start with the vertices that are connected to the graph by one edge only. Then continue to connect the vertices with shortest distances, like 50 and 100. And now complete the tree by making the last connections. This question is worth one mark for the correct minimum spanning tree. Question four. The rides at the theme park are set up at the beginning of each holiday season. This project involves activities A to O. The directed network below shows these activities and their completion times in days. Part A. Write down the two immediate predecessors of activity I. The two predecessors are activities D and E. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. Part B. The minimum completion time for the project is 19 days. Part I. There are two critical paths. One of the critical paths is A, E, J, L, N. Write down the other critical path. We are now going to determine the earliest starting time for all activities. We can now determine the latest starting time for all activities. The second critical path is the one that follows activities A, E, I, L and N. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. Part 2i. Determine the float time in days for activity F. 
The earliest starting time for activity F is 5, and the latest starting time for activity F is 11. So the float time is equal to 11 minus 5, which is 6 days. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. From the 2017 VC examination report, this question was not answered well, with 7 and 5 the most common incorrect responses. Part C. The project could finish earlier if some activities were crashed. Six activities, B, D, G, I, J and L, can all be reduced by one day. The cost of this crashing is $1,000 per activity. Part I. What is the minimum number of days in which the project could now be completed? Activities B, D, G, I, J, L can be reduced. We are going to reduce the activities that are on the critical path, and they are I, J, and L. If we reduce these three activities by one day, the earliest starting times for activities L, O, N change by one day. So the finish time is going to be 18. We notice that now we have a new critical path, which is the one that follows activities A, C, G, N. We can now reduce activity G because this activity is now on the critical path. This is going to further reduce the time for the project to 17 days. So the answer to this question is 17 days. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. Part 2i. What is the minimum cost of completing the project in this time? Since four activities were reduced, then the total cost is $4,000. This question is worth one mark for the correct answer. From the 27 TVC examination report, this question was not answered well. Some students recognized the need to reduce the activities on the critical path I, J, and L, but did not realize that activity G also had to be reduced as it was part of a new critical path form.